guys hear that road noise? Hear that? And it goes away when I turn right. That right there is a, that noise that I was just trying to show you. I don't know how well you could hear it, but that is a very, very blown wheel hub, wheel bearing, hub bearing, whatever you want to call it. It's bad and it's broken and I have procrastinated on getting it fixed. It's a million wonders. I haven't wrecked my truck because of it, but we got a new one in and I got to take care of some stuff. Today's kind of like just a work day. It's raining. It's terrible weather. The river's 47 feet higher than it should be. And I figured, you know, I'm going to be doing some work today. How about I just film, see what happens. I mean, I'm sure somebody's going to want to watch. And if nobody wants to watch, I'll still post it because uh, I don't know. Why not? Y'all stay tuned. We got a lot of work to do. Okay, we got all the essentials. We got a box full of ratchets and sockets and mess. We got some PB blaster and an impact without any impact sockets. And she's jacked up, so hopefully this is gonna be a lot easier than I think. I think the only thing I might the only thing I might need as well is a uh, a hammer. And I'm not even sure if I need a hammer. I don't know. We'll see. All we can all we can really do is get into it and hope for the best, so that's the plan. I might need to get mad at our cheater board for this. I'm trying to take the calipers off. Oh my god. Well, the issue I'm facing, there's two bolts back here. I don't know if y'all can see them. There's two bolts holding that brake caliper on that I have to get off in order to get in there. I don't know how I'm going to get to them. Like, or I can get to them. I don't know how I'm going to break them loose without breaking something. Every every 30 minute job, for me at least, it turned into like a four or five hour job, so I may be here for a while. Finally got that bolt out. You can see all this is loose now. The best advice I can give you if you're trying to do this is those caliper bolts, or any bolt that's kind of sticky. Number one, I was trying to go in, see it's, it's right here. I was trying to go in like this. And as you can see, I don't have much room. So I came in over here like this, and with that extension, I could get on that bolt. And then I put a little cheater bar, which was actually my jack handle. I used it as a cheater bar, and it popped right loose after I almost got four aneurysms. So we're gonna, I'm gonna try to get something where I can kind of hang this. I'm gonna sit it on that box, but also kind of try to hang it with some wire or something because I really don't want to break this hose right here. That would be not good at all. Okay, I just used some zip ties because zip ties are nature's duct tape. And now it's not being supported by that brake hose. And hopefully I didn't mess anything up. Freaking actual bolt was in there so tight. I thought I was rounding off the bolt at first. Luckily I wasn't, I don't think. All right, guys, 
finally got that off. I got three more bolts and then it's just worried about getting the axle out of the hook, as far as I know. Okay, quick update because I forgot to record a little bit. Um, I'm on my last bolt on here. I had to uh, basically just let the PB blaster work again and then use my cheater bore. I've had to use it on every single one so far. I put a milk crate up under that to kind of help keep it back out of the way. And then I hit this kind of, I hit this bolt like fairly soft just to knock the axle and kind of get it out of the way a little bit. And or get it, break it loose from the hub. So now all I have to do is take out one bolt, take out that wire, take out the whole assembly, and put the new one in, I think, I hope. There we go. Finally. Okay, now there's a wire here. Hey, little brown. There's a wire here that's connected to an, I think it's an ABS sensor or something. So I gotta run all this out and I don't know if I have to keep the clips or not. Look at there, that was way easier than I was hoping. Hey, that was way easier than I was expecting. Goodness, I don't know how I just did that. <laughs> but I'll take it. I figured if these things were as hard to get off as they were, I need to tighten them up with some authority, so that's what I'm trying to do. If you grunt, it makes you 40% stronger, or so I've heard. I'm not a doctor, but I've heard it. I'm not gonna lie, I kinda like wearing these gloves. Make me feel like I'm a professional or something. You know guys, it's a delicate balance between tight enough and sabotage. Because if I was to over tighten these, it'd be just like I was, or I'd have to, I might have to, me or somebody else would have to go through what I just went through to get this stuff apart. And if you under tighten it, then you die, or you could die. So, I don't know, delicate balance, but I'm done. All right, I'm gonna get all this crap cleaned up. We're gonna go on a quick little test drive, just probably just down the road and back, and probably need it cleaned up too before that. But then we got one more thing to do, maybe. I'm probably gonna shoot my bow here in a little bit too, so y'all stay tuned. All right, now that my hands aren't black, full of grease and I'm still drenched in sweat, but at least my hands and my arms aren't dirty. I don't know why, but I have, like, I don't mind getting my hands dirty. 
I don't mind getting dirty. It's just staying dirty I have a problem with. But anyway, we're gonna hopefully see. Okay, truck cranks up, that's good. I'm probably gonna have to disconnect the battery because the ABS light's still on. But here in a second, we're gonna get on the road and see if what we did works or worked. <laughs> I just freaked out. I was rolling out of the driveway or out of the carport and I apparently I ran over a zip tie, the zip ties that I used to hang up the brakes and all. Ran over one of those and I heard pa pa and I was like, oh crap, I just broke something. Yeah, I think I think I need to change out the driver's side one eventually, but that cut down the noise a lot and now I don't feel like I'm in a death trap. So I call that a success for so so far today. We're, we're on the plus side. Alright, so I got a couple more things I want to do today, but uh, one thing I really want to get out and I really want to do some run some lines for some catfish for a long. And I've got this really awesome setup. It takes a second to get the cap, get the lid off of this thing. It's like a three gallon, I'll show you the whole setup. So, and I just need to get this lid off first. It's about to come a storm, but, so you got your lid right here, and we tie this piece of flagging on. It's supposed to signify like where you start and end on here, but basically we got all our hooks all the way around in these holes. This one got bent out by like a big, uh, snapper or something. I got to swap sn snapping turtle, not snapper. So I got to swap that out. Um, I don't know. We got a good mix of cheap circles, expensive circles, and cheap uh, straight shanks. I don't really know what works best. I really like circle hooks, but I, I suck bad enough at it that it doesn't really matter what hooks I use. So I just use whatever. <laughs> I really enjoy running lines. It's just not very good at it. Let me rephrase that. I'm not very good at catching fish. I am very dialed in on the, the whole strategy. And, or, I'm dialed in on the process is what I'll say. So this right here, this is what you usually avoid using this setup. I'm, I'll show you the setup here in a second. I'm just trying to get everything kind of straightened out and untangled and get an inventory right now. We got everything all lined up, straightened out, replaced the hook. I got lucky I found uh, two 5 alt or 4 alt, 5 alt owner circle hooks. So eventually one day I want all these to be owner circle hooks. Uh, or at least just something better than what I have. Some of these are, I'm sure, like Team Catfish or something. Which work, but cheap, you know. So basically, I got a bucket here with holes in it. Uh, basically, what you do with this is you can start it. With, well, I'll do it over here. Hopefully, y'all can kind of see it over here. I kind of want to put, like, separate, start off with the straight shank hooks. So you basically hook it in there and just funnel it in and it kind of coils it up you grab the next sh straight shank that's what i'm doing at least and i'm going to show you the finished product but basically if you do this and you keep the lid on um it just it greatly 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 reduces the tangles that you're going to have and plus it's just it looks cool and it's uh everything's all kind of organized you just sort of i don't know it it works a lot better in my opinion than anything else that i've used so like i said i have a system absolutely dialed in but as far as 
catching fish. Uh, I got some work I need to do. So there we go. I'll, what I'm gonna show you, so this is the circle hook I just put in there. And you basically you put all your hooks in there in one direction and then you go the opposite when you're pulling them out. And like, you can pull, out, pull these out all day long, every single one of them and not one will be tangled as long as it doesn't like get tumped over and like thrown around. Which even though, even if it does, it's it doesn't get tangled up that often. The only thing is like to refill it, you kind of have to, you know, put your, uh, you kind of take the top off and all that, but you keep the lid on. This lid, it stays on while you're in the woods because, or in the water, because if you're in the backwaters and dealing up under willow trees and up under cypress trees and mess, it's so common if you use any other type of bucket that all those little sticks fall down in there and they just fill up your bucket and it, one little stick in there will wrap everything up. It's it's insane how much damage one little thing will do to a set of limb lines. But anyway, I'm going to put that uh, line back. And hopefully we can put some new trailer lights or at least run new wires on this trailer real quick. Look at those lazy dogs just snoozing away. Oh, Boudin heard me. She's like, don't mess with me. I'm asleep. All right, so I was going to put new wiring on this on my on the trailer lights this boat this is i don't know if i've ever even talked about this boat much but uh this was kind of my graduation present still i mean it, it belongs to my dad it's my dad's boat but it's basically mine if that makes sense i can take it out whenever i just got to take care of it because it's technically not mine and i'd take care of it even if it was mine you know it's a little stouter 12 foot this is one of the most stable 12 foot boats you could ever imagine and it drafts like almost nothing perfect for like running lines and uh, just running the river or you know trolling around in ponds fishing it's great for that anyway we got a lot done if you enjoy this type of video it's just sort of like there's not not really much going on i'm surprised it's not raining because the forecast for today said it was like 80 percent thunderstorms all afternoon so, I don't know, it actually kind of cleared up. I don't know, I may go fishing later today. It'll be a different video. But if you enjoy just kind of a different, like, vlog-style video, um, let me know. I'll probably try to do more stuff like this. And just sort of filming something other than fishing or hunting because there's not really much of that going on right now because of all the rain and everything. So And it, plus, most, most days, it's just so freaking hot. It's not worth it. But, anyways... Always remember to live by 25 high. We'll see you next time.